This quick tutorial is to show you how to use Watcher with a drum template and then play that through Beatmaker 3 and we use AUM for mixing and some background routing. So we're going to do this all live. Here we're going to create a new mix and we're going to choose Music Mix Manual. And that's on Title 3 so we tap on that to load it up. Now we're going to load up here a to start with a drum template so check that show older is on and if you are having that on you will see gen drums one midi we'll tap that and we'll tap tap the first template and we'll load it and if we press play we can hear it playing now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to load up beatmaker here and we're going to create a new session we are going to choose ashes kit load the bank and if we get that loaded we'll see we've got a bank down here now a 1.1 means either MIDI channel 1 or note 1 that's important to note it depends on how you set it up now because sometimes MIDI will kind of stop playing occasionally if we have watch a background we're going to use AUM or AUM to mix it so we go into Interrap Audio we select Watcher and we're going to select Beatmaker here come see come so okay so if we tap on watch it, it'll come through to here now if we press let's first of all turn off ISC for sound and effects that's a very important thing so it's this checkbox we turn it off so that we don't have audio playing through watcher we come back to the mix if we now press play we're gonna hear nothing okay that's good so we're gonna come back to um, um, and go into Beatmaker. Now this is where we set up the MIDI. So if we tap the top left uh, menu item and then the tools icon here, if we go into settings behaviors make sure that root all MIDI to selected pad is off otherwise you can get very confused with what's going on. Go into audio, MIDI and devices and we'll notice in this list we've got watcher channels and we've got watcher tracks. Now tracks means if you have that selected as an input device the MIDI on that track whatever the MIDI uh, information being sent will come through is all coming through by track as opposed to by channel so it's a kind of filter so we're going to have track 1 and we're also going to select uh, track 2 because we'll be using that later on now if we come into the ashes kit back here if we select the top right drop down menu select MIDI setup and under port we're going to select track one and then we also select mode multi-channel now <clears throat> what we can hear straight away is we have some sound playing now so if we select this bottom 64 we can actually see what's happening more easily and you see it's all coming through on channel 10 great that's what we want so let's go back to on let's just turn that down a second now if we go back to uh, watcher here let's stop this what we need to do now is to we know it's all coming through on channel 10 so we need to make sure that the notes now have the appropriate value so that means we go into a voice at the moment each of these four tracks because it's set up as a, a channel 10 drum template come through on the patch they have a D preface and that means note just send a note of MIDI pitch 35. We want to actually make this a melodic or a, a normal kind of composition voice. So we're going to set all these to uh, just acoustic piano. So we're, basically it means they're not forced to sending a particular particular note. Sorry. It takes a second for this to pop up. We will be improving this in later versions. So we're going to make all these basically a simple um, non drum patch voice and okay there we are so now if we come back out here if we press play now we hear something different so if we go back to beat maker they're all still playing on channel 10 but they're playing at different pitches which perhaps is not what we want so let's stop that a second if we come back to Beatmaker now, so we go into the Ashes kit, so we know we're sending it all through on channel 10. I said 
each channel is a set to do a pad number. We don't want that. We actually want single channel and we want channel 10. So I lied, not deliberately, it's just I forgot what I was doing. So if we now go into Watcher and play it, we should hear, okay, yeah. Now you, ah, good. This is what we're wanting to show. So you notice they're actually playing notes at uh, like 34, 37, 41 and so forth. So that means that the notes being generated while Watcher are higher than they need to be. So if we come into Watcher, back here, the way we change this is if we go into the voice, we edit it, if we set the pitch for each of the voices down to zero, it now means they're generating pitches starting at a zero. Okay, and we're now hearing more of what we want. So if we go into Beatmaker, we'll see it's actually playing pitches in a rough area between actually A1 and A12. They don't quite sound like what we want yet, but we'll come to that too. So if we go back to Watcher, uh, let's see, the next thing we need to do, let's just stop that for a second. The next thing is we want to go into rules. Now the rules determine what notes are composed by Watcher. So in, in general, in this case, we're looking at the scale rules. So we've got a lot of scale rules set up here. I want to set up a different rule for each of the four notes I want to play. So if we select Dorian, for example, I'm just going to slide all these down. So we've only got the one note there. I'm going to rename that to one, just because it makes it easier to know what's going on. I'm going to select Hyperdorian. I'm going to slide so we've got only element M2. I'm going to rename that and call that two. And we're just going to do that with the other ones. And we're going to call this one three. You can set up templates that you can use that are already configured as you wish. Uh, I'm just starting with a general default template. And then finally four. And the height of the bar here is related to the probability it will generate. So you can play around with that too. So, okay. So we've done that. So now what I want to do for the bass drum voice, I want to select rule one like that. For two, I want to select rule two. For three, I want to select rule three. So this is a bit laborious, but once you've set something up once, it's quite straightforward. We've all, and we want this one before, which it already is. Now, if we come back out, if we press play now, ah, it's sounding more like what we want. So if we go into Beatmaker, you'll see that we're playing patches notes one, two, three, and four, and they're the actual patches we want in terms of sounds. So that's actually all very good. So if we come back out to uh, Watcher now, um, what we have is this template will gradually change over time, it will mutate. But if you want to get back to where it was when it started, there's an easy way to do that. If we go into uh, this top button, the toolbar button, we select copy, paste, sticky. If we are on that cell selected there, we paste to this cell here, and then remember to turn off the sticky behavior. It means that you can move in a performance way from one cell to the next cell, but then restart that cell. So if we were to press play on this cell here, if we tap and hold another cell with content in like that, it will go orange, but then that cell will start to play. Okay, so if we tap and hold an empty one, then that would be basically nothing playing, and I want to go back to this one. Okay, now that's one way of uh, using Watcher to generate through MIDI channel 10. We're going to show another way. And to do that, I'm actually just going to mute this so that we don't hear this track. So I'm going to turn that one to there. Now, if we go into the second track, I'm going to add a template, which is from the corresponding OWT. It means an OG wave table. It's an old style template. Oops, a daisy. Uh, it doesn't like it when I have, when I do that. 
Okay, so you'll notice this particular template uses MIDI channel 1, 2, 3, and 4 instead of a channel 10. This can work fine, but it means you need to set up the voices such that they always generate a note that's expected. So for the bass drum to play in Beatmaker, this, this one here, it always has to send because if you notice it's set up at C3, it always has to send the same note, which is actually C60 um, on each MIDI channel. So it'll be C60 on channel 1, C60 on channel 2, and channel 3, and channel 4, and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this slightly differently. We're going to create a new bank, and in that new bank, we're going to add or load a different um, bank, and we're going to call that one TPKZA Drums. Now, it's a slightly different sounding drum kit, but it'll give us some variety. Now, when we set this one up, I want to set this one up, MIDI setup, to have tr uh, track two is the input, and I want a single channel note number associated to a pad number. No, I don't want, I want multi-channel. Okay, so fine. Now, if we come back out here to Watcher, we press play. What we've got is we're now playing these four MIDI channels. And you'll see they're actually playing on MIDI channel one, two, three, four, which is great, but they're not playing the notes we want. And the reason they're not playing the notes we want is because the notes that Watcher is generating, if we go into the bass drum, for example, is it's generating a note of patch D or, or a MIDI uh, note value 35 instead of 60, which is what we want. So there's an easy way to do that, which is for all of these voices, we set them to a value of um, D60. And that's exactly what Beatmaker is expecting. Now we will make this easier in future versions of Watcher to do all this stuff but this is just how you do it for now. So we're going to go up to here, set this one, a bit of scrolling involved, we're going to set this to D60 as well, and we're going to do that for the this one here, the third one, the hi-hat, set that to D60, we're nearly done. And once you set one of these um, templates up, of course, you can reuse it too. And the final one, just tap, it takes a second for that to load up. We're going to go all the way through. And then when we've got to it, and we set them all up for D60, which we have, if we go back to the mix and press play, there you go. You get more of what you're expecting here. So what we're going to do now is in Ohm, we're going to add a an audio effects. And we're going to go into... I always get this slightly confused. Oops, a daisy, sorry. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing wrong. I don't want it source, I want it as actually a mix bus. So I want it mix bus A. And then in here we add the effects. So interrap audio, and we're going to add uh, basically a reverb to start with. And then for Beatmaker, we add a bus send. Send a bus A. Okay, there we go. And we can adjust the send. So we've added a bit of reverb to that. We're going to add another channel here, and we're going to have that also as a mixed bus receiving from bus B. And then we're going to add a bus B here. Send a bus B. And in bus B, we're going to add a bit of. Um, delay or something. Okay, I've just set that up before. So we've got something quite cool going on now. Now, if we go into Watcher now, and we turn this one back on by pressing and tapping and holding. Okay, we've got a bit too much delay. But basically it's playing both patterns at the same time, so... Get the send. Let's turn the send down. OK. 
Okay, so actually what we'll do is we'll start that again. So, and before we start that again, what we will also do is I'll select this one and I will copy paste that tip here. And this means we can also reset either of those two. So if I press play now, that's quite nice. And what we can do is we can turn off each of these. So that the fact that it's green or orange means it's playing. So if I tap and hold that, and I tap and hold that, okay, you get the idea. It's coming on, tap and hold it. And it's kind of a performance tool, if you like. So in this tutorial, we have shown how to use Watcher in two different ways to trigger Beatmaker. We've used Ohm to mix it, and we have added some effects, and there we go. In another tutorial, I will base it from the start where we are with this one, and then add some other uh, instrumental voices in. Okay, thank you for, oh, one other last thing. If I create another mix bus here, which I'm going to call C, if I take the output from here to mix bus C, uh, if I send all the outputs to mix bus C, and you notice there's nothing coming out of the watch one, so it doesn't really matter, then in mix bus C, I could just fade it all out. There you go. Okay, thanks for listening.